Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have a Heathkit SB220. I've worked on, oh, oh man, over 550 or 560. I mean, I've worked on a lot of these amplifiers. This one needs a lot of work, so I figured I'd make a video. So, needs a new band switch. I found a brand new one, so I'm going to replace that with a brand new one. I'll show the old one. I will rewind the parasitic suppressors with brand new Allen Bradley resistors. I will change the plate blocking capacitor. The air variable down here looks like someone, I don't know if it's just uh, manufactured like that or what, the edge, but I don't see any evidence of arcing on the opposing plates. So we'll see how that works. That may need to be replaced, but not sure yet. You notice there was some damage to the ceramic on the front and the back, but it looks okay. It'll work. Input rotary looks okay. Test the meters, they're okay. So, someone replaced the fan with the Harbach fan. Someone electrical taped all of this, so I'm going to redo this. I disconnected the plate transformer secondary so I could fire it up to make sure the filament transformer was okay. A lot of times people end up with a grid to filament short. When they have the forced biasing, it takes out that winding. So I wanted to make sure that was okay before I proceeded. If the filament transformer was shot, this would have been a parts unit. Most likely. So I'll change the metering bulbs. I'm, I'm, the meter bulbs, I'm sorry. I'm going to change the metering board with the Harbach kit. I'm going to change the filter cap assembly with the Harbach kit. And I will turn it over. I'll be right back. Okay, now we have, here's the bottom. Someone put in some sort of soft key with bias, a bias scheme on here. I'm going to take that out. I've seen people do this, and they put a short on the the uh, filament transformer winding, and then they end up, you know, needing a new filament transformer. So I'm going to put the Harbach kit in. I'm going to ground the grids. I'm going to fix this electrical tape stuff over here. Uh, I'll take it apart. So I've seen where people just twist things together or electrical tape wires next to each other. So I'll take that all apart, solder everything, and heat shrink it. I'll hook the bias back up to the relay. The you know cathode return uh, scheme to the diodes up on the, the meter board. I'll clean up the solder work over here. I will get rid of these wire nuts and uh, Cut them again and uh, heat shrink and solder a heat shrink. Oh man, I'm really went to town on this thing. So, okay, so I'm going to go through the entire thing and I'll be back. Once again, ampreparguy.com 203 892 4119. I will be back. Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com. I'm back with the completed amplifier, and this thing was a lot of work. So I'm going to go over everything, over everything I did. Needed a new band switch. I'll show you the old one. And where is it? There you go. See the blown off contact. The other ones are damaged too, right there. There's the blown off one. Went ahead and changed the SO239 connector on the output. It had some grip to it, but I just didn't want to take any chances, so I installed a brand new one. So, he had ordered a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. One of the old tubes had a grid to filament short, old brown base, old, old tubes. So, awesome company, love Pentalabs. I removed them, but uh, great company, so... Brand new plate blocking capacitor. You can see the brand new output rotary switch. I found a guy that had a brand new one, so I installed it. Everything soldered really well. Nice, nice. Put in uh, the new Harbach metering board. I assembled it, installed it. Put in the series glitch resistor. Put in new meter lamps. Clean the input rotary switch down there with the oxid gold. Installed new high voltage wire, put in the Harbach filter cap board. 
the wires were twisted together and electrical taped. I took that all apart and soldered everything really well. Triple insulated it with heat shrink. So that's good. Already had the Harbach fan in there. I installed new parasitic suppressors, rewound them with new resistors and new uh, connections uh, where they connect to the tube anode dissipating caps. This whole assembly comes out, coil, both coil assemblies. You have to be careful. I've seen a lot of times where this connection is faulty. Pull cold solder joint, so you want to make sure that is, is soldered really well. So that's really sturdy now. So also make sure that this connection hasn't loosened up over here. I see that a lot, and also the connection on the back of the load tuner. So Okay, so I'm going to flip it over, and I will show you the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I ripped out that bias slash uh, soft key homebrew board. I don't know where it went. I would show it to you, but it's around here somewhere. So, put in the hard box soft key. I cleaned up the solder joints over here on the circuit breakers. I grounded the grids the proper way right to the chassis. I replaced, like I said, the SO239 connector over here, shortened the leads on this cap over here, rehooked the bias up to the TR relay, has the self bias mod instead of the force bias, replaced the electrolytic cap on this terminal strip, had to repair the terminal strip. A lot of times the, the stock cap well short and then you can end up taking out the 100 milliamp winding on the filament transformer it's now wired for 120 customer wanted it on 120 installed a 120 plug on the cord I had to replace the output output safety choke the original one was was damaged uh, had electrical tape on the wire over here. Uh, one of them was twisted together over here for the filament center tap. So I, I heat shrunk, I unsoldered heat shrunk and uh, soldered the wire to a new wire and put heat shrink on it. Cleaned the contacts on the TR relay with deoxy gold. Zip tied everything really nice. Uh, reconnected the ALC that was disconnected and uh, the guy had a different RCA jack on here got rid of that and reconnected uh, the old one and it's connected to the soft key so this thing was a lot of work but it's all done she's good to go amprepair.com 203 Eight nine two four one one nine. That's two zero three eight nine two four one one nine. Take care.